and welcome back! Video game releases are slowing down again, and some big games have been delayed. For example, Forsaken is now releasing in October. But there are games worth your time, and a couple of free-to-play big hitters are here for some love too. Here's seven of the best games coming in May 2022. Let's begin with the slow motion bullet damage. On May 26th, Sniper Elite 5 releases. Once again, set during World War II, we pick up our sniper rifle and infiltrate the enemy lines of the Third Reich in order to dismantle the axis of evil. With multiple ways to complete each mission, it isn't always about that slow motion bullet. We can set up booby traps to move enemy troops around and stealth our way to the objective. Or we can simply use every weapon in our arsenal and go in like you're a 90s action hero. Each mission has unique set pieces to find, giving us a reason to replay the game. And something new has been added. Invasion mode is here. An invading Axis sniper will join your game with the sole mission to end you. This means you'll have to stay aware of your surroundings at all times, or you'll be the one receiving the X-Ray slow-mo. Sniper Elite 5 drops on May 26th on PS4, PS5, PC and Xbox on Game Pass, I do believe. On Friday the 13th, look out for Evil Dead The Game, an asymmetric multiplayer horror outing in the same vein as something like Dead by Daylight and many elements taken from the Left 4 Dead series. The game splits the players apart, with one person playing as the demon and the others the survivors. A round lasts about 25 minutes, the survivors must complete tasks while the demon attempts to stop them. The demon essentially controls an army of darkness and unleashes them on the survivors, while also leaving them jump scares, possessing trees and even taking control of vehicles. On the other side, those survivors are frantically defeating swarms of enemies as they slowly progress through the tasks. There's over 25 different weapons to choose from, with more coming later in the year, from ranged weapons to mid-range to shotgun and to up close and personal melee attacks. There isn't much ammo around, so melee is very important. As the match progresses, players can upgrade their characters, putting points into health, additional stamina, weapon efficiency, and you can even start to resist fear. Outside of that, there is a skill tree to slowly upgrade over time to build your very own survivor suited to your exact playstyle. If you know the movies, you already know many of the iconic weapons and shenanigans on offer, but if you don't, we're told this is a great place to learn about Ash and the Evil Dead. May 13th, if you want to poop your pantaloons in fear, on PlayStation 4, 5, PC, Xbox Series, and it's even on the Switch too. Okay, let's look into some free games you can grab this month, and welcome to Blood Hunt. If you check in regularly with this series, you will know this was due out to release in 2021, but that became 2022, and finally, it's here. And if you're here on the day I release this video, it's out in two days, April 27th. A 45-person vampire-focused battle royale set in Prague. Following a vampire gathering, which suddenly broke out into a war between vampire factions. We have the usual ranged and melee attacks, but the twist is these mythical abilities that only vampires hold. Crazy high jumps, impossible physics to master, all while keeping hidden from those humans in the city below. Unless you want to consume them for health and buffs. Solos and team modes have been confirmed, yet not all details are here just yet. There are character classes to use, and if the game is fun, I'll be making a video breaking down the best ones to choose. Blood Hunt releases on PS5 and PC on April 27th, and there was a PS4 logo in one of the recent trailers. I reached out for more information and was told that no other consoles will get Blood Hunt until October 27th. Another free-to-play game due out any minute is Roller Champions. All the way back in 2019, a roller derby extreme sports game was revealed. Two teams go head to head to lap around this circuit and then throw a ball through a hoop. Super simple. This was added to by allowing devastating tackles and collisions to confirm this is totally a full contact sport. Things were looking good in the early previews with a focus on cosmetics and looking the way you want, and then suddenly it vanished. We were told Roller Champions would fully release in 2021 after ironing out some of the mechanics, but it didn't. Then suddenly, a few days ago, the Twitter account was reactivated and the game is officially finished. It's gone gold, which means it's approved for release any time from now. We're going to find out more in May, and judging by the lack of AAA games available right now, I'm expecting this to quickly release in May. Roller Champions will be free to play on all platforms, we just need an official date to be announced. I had a love-hate relationship with the previews of this game, but I'm hoping they've ironed out the few issues there were, and this could be a great game. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going away from free games now and we're going to look at some that are around $20 euros or 15 quid here in the UK. Have you seen this? Trek to Yomi. A side-scrolling action game dripping with style. Based in Japan during the Edo period, we play as Hiroki, who must find the people responsible for destroying his village. Faced with tragedy and the bound of duty, the lone samurai must voyage between life and death to confront himself and decide his path forward. Very epic. Fighting is all about timing with light attacks and slower strong strikes, as well as perfectly executing a block to break your foe's guard. We are promised mythical creatures to fight and the environment will evolve over time to come alive. I'm crazy hyped for this game because I'm getting limbo and inside vibes. May the 5th if you're interested on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Another reduced price game which is looking very interesting is Deadcraft, a survival post-apocalyptic game, yet it's based around farming. Hear me out, hear me out, okay? <laughs> we craft our own zombies. Right now there is a two hour demo you can try for yourself, as explaining this game is almost impossible, so try it for yourself. It's a dangerous world out there and to stay alive, Reed, the main character, must take full advantage of the undead. And by the way, Reed is half human, half zombie. The real draw to playing seems to be finding the weird and wonderful ways to defeat each zombie horde. There are Dead Rising vibes coming from this and some of the sections look to be inspired by twin stick shooters. Deadcraft releases at a reduced price so be sure to check it out if it interests you. May the 19th on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Switch. And finally, another very low priced game, We Were Here Forever. A year or two ago I showed you We Were Here Together, and at the time it was a free to play game. And since then, four games have released, each based around cooperative puzzle solving between two real life players. We can't see each other very often in game, which means it's all about those walkie talkies in hand. Conversations, cooperations and understanding each other is vital. If you played the Sublime Operation Tango last year, it's a similar vibe to that. May the 10th if you want to try this on PC, PS4, PS5 and Xbox. So that's what we've got this month. Anything take your fancy? I'm going to jump into Blood Hunt and Trek to Yumi. Let's end with a question like always. And today I want to know what happens if you mix together your last two games that you played to create a whole new title. What you got? I'm Adam, you're awesome. I'll see you next time.